Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, August 31st, 2023, and we are back with our college football best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. Uh, we post these college football videos every single day that college football is on, along with the NFL and MLB. We're undefeated in the MLB yesterday. We're 27-9 and in the NFL preseason, 12-3 and on our best bets, by the way, for members only. Uh, we're also going to be our big one here is the NBA, um, college basketball, and the NHL. We're going after our first 10,000 subscribers, our first seven months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap week zero, week zero, we had a shit week. It was a, it was a bad week overall. Recaps on the screen. I'm not even talking about it. It's one of those things where you just flush the tape and that's what I'm doing here today. Last year, by the way, we went as a, we went as a, as a when well, I was on YouTube then, but private betting, we went 137 to 91. We won 68.3% of our best bets last year. And last year we started out with a tough week zero. Not going to be very different this year. We're going to bounce back, absolutely crush week one. Um, and we we have four picks today in college football. We have four. And I am loving these. We have two that are free that I'm going to cover with you all today on the video. We have two members only as well. And if you want to get our members only best bets, become a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all of our best bets texted straight to your phone and emailed as well. Uh, we also have a also all of our free picks are texted to you before these videos come out. That way you're able to take advantage of early lines and early odds. And you also have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, you can text our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back about any game you're considering betting. Um, and as long as you be six minutes before game time, obviously. So again, that website is zdmbest.com slash pick, zdmbest.com slash pick, zdmbest.com slash pick. So like I said, four picks today, two free, two members only. I'm going to start with our first free pick, which is going to be Nebraska plus seven and a half versus Minnesota. I don't really see a major difference between these two teams. I, I don't see it. I don't understand why there's a seven and a half point uh, difference here, other than the fact that Nebraska sucked last year. Um, and by the way, Minnesota, first off, I am a Nebraska fan, kind of like my family. We have we have ties to Nebraska and Penn State and these other teams. But here's the deal: I don't really see a big difference here. First off, the Minnesota quarterback, I, Kelly Marcus, he's not good. I watched him plenty last year. I watched him in the bowl game. The guy cannot throw. The guy can't throw. And Minnesota is only bringing – and Minnesota's, Minnesota's big advantage that they would have on Nebraska is two things. Number one is their defense. Number two is their running game. Let's look at their defense. First off, they're only bringing back three of their front seven. That's a problem. And their best tacklers are gone. Uh, out of their four DBs, their best two went to the NFL this year. So now we're losing a lot of defensive production there. The best running back on Minnesota is gone. He went he, – he, he went to the NFL. Uh, they brought in an average Mac running back who's okay at best. Nebraska always plays teams close, especially, and, they, and they upgraded everywhere through the transfer portal, and they, and they upgraded mightily at head coach because Scott Frost wasn't doing shit for this team, and Matt Rule knows. Matt Rule was on the herd recently, and he was talking about the fact that Nebraska needs to get back to their roots, which is running the freaking ball, playing really physical, and they brought that in with personnel. Sims um, is a transfer from Georgia Tech who can't really throw all that well, but the Duke can run that puppy. And the fact is, is that they're setting this up to be like an old school Nebraska team where it's ground and pound, and they're just going to hammer Minnesota over and over and over again. And the fact is, Matt Rule also improves teams very, very quickly. They're not going to go from you know bad to like contenders like overnight. I don't think they have any chance of competing in the Big Ten whatsoever. Um, the, I mean, but the thing is, we, from that first year, they will be better. If you look at um, Baylor and Temple, that Matt Rule was coaching before in the NCAA. Like, they got better very, very quickly. I see that same thing happening now. Uh, Nebraska on defense does bring back six starters. They got a great chance for an M MJ Sherman from Georgia at linebacker. He's, a full, he's an old-school four-star recruit. Um, I just don't I, – I, and plus you can get Nebraska at plus seven, plus seven, that's depending on your book. I bet seven and a half. I'm at FanDuel. Um, I did, a, did the alternate line minus 120. Um, but I love Nebraska here. I, I, they, I think they can win this game outright, but I'm going to take the plus seven and a half here. Next, we have UConn, plus 14 and a half for NC State. First off, sharp money is all over um, NC, uh, for UConn here, excuse me. Because first off, guys, the, like, if you take it with a grain of salt, but right now, 55% of the public is betting on NC State, yet the lines move from 16 and a half down 14 and a half. That, 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 that something doesn't seem right there. It seems like some reverse line movement. It's a little weird to me. Plus, UConn is getting two touchdowns at home versus NC State team is very one-dimensional on offense. Um, Brandon Armstrong can throw, can really throw the ball. Um, however, NC State lacks a rushing attack, which could be a big deal when it comes to closing out games. UConn's going to get some extra possessions, in my opinion. Plus, UConn got killed by this team last year, 41-10. to 10. That's what people remember. Um, that's honestly what I remember, too. But the fact is, they've had all off-season game plan and stew from a bad loss. 
And they have a very, very like veteran team. If you look down their depth chart here, I mean, both their receivers are grad students. Their transfers are grad students. Uh, Ross Cameron, returning starter, junior. Um, uh, Valentin, he's their left tackle. Junior, he's a, he's a returning starter. I mean, I can go down the list here. They're, all of their, I mean, so many of their good players, I mean, so many of their important players are either juniors or seniors or returning starters, except for their quarterback, uh, Fagano, um, who is coming off of an FCS. But the thing is, is like, you don't really know what these guys are going to be. They could, he, Listen, he could be terrible, but he could also be really, really good. And I also think just the UConn getting 14 and a half points here is just way too many points. Plus, again, something that's smell right with the line. Um, NC State is an unproven defensive squad. They're filled with young players and transfers. They could be really good, but we also don't know if they're going to be any good. Um, and honestly, I, just, I don't think they're going to win. I think NC State will win, but UConn will cover. I'm going to take them here plus 14 and a half. Now, like I said, we have two members only picks as well. Um, you get that at zdmbest.com slash picks. I'm going to hammer, and I mean hammer, these members only picks. So quick recap what we have on the free side of things. We have Nebraska plus seven and a half. UConn plus 14 and a half. So guys, go lock in those picks. Let's go win together. Let's go make some money. And I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all get to check out those other videos.